combine axial and bending stress uh, look at this loading situation let's consider again a 2x4 beam it's going to make a little bit bigger so we can visualize this um, so this is a 2x4 let me draw this so that's the 2x4 beam and then assume that this is a simply supported beam and we are applying load from here now it could happen that there is a load also acting actually so that's another load acting actually PA let's say this is bending load PB now in this case you have the total stress will be um, the total uh, stress uh, total um, just I can write F total will be the stress due to the axial force which is PA by the cross section area in this case which is A I said this is A and for a 2 by 4 case we can simulate it just 2 times 4 and then also the bending stress which will be we can calculate MC by I that's the formula to calculate bending stress um, nothing different we have learned this from one of the first module uh, that talks about how to calculate normal stress this is what that thing is normal stress and now the plus minus sign imagine that if you apply force this way this top fiber will be in compression and then the bottom will be in tension so if I'm interested at one of the bottom point of this beam, let's say I'm interested here. So this is point number one. So if I want to calculate the total stress at point one, then at point one, because of this loading, I will have tension. So the bending stress will be positive. Tension is positive. So that would be MC by I. And also because of this tensile load, it will also be positive. So that's plus PA axial load divided by the area. So it depends on the which point we are interested in. If you look at this top point, let's say point three. Uh, if we want to calculate the stress at point three, total stress, that's going to be uh, basically. So the top fiber in compression, so bending stress will be in compression and tension this axial loading will be positive tension so positive uh, pa axial loading by the cross section area minus the compression loading because of this bending loading so that would be minus mc by i so it's very simple uh, just you just have to add two separate stresses because of these different load going on on this beam